Good morning, friends. One of my very favorite uh, passages in the Bible uh, reflects the time when Jesus met for the first time uh, the one who would become a really a, a lead disciple of his, Simon Peter. Jesus looked at him and said, you've been called Simon, but from now on you're going to be called Peter. And of course, Peter literally means a rock. And Jesus in that first meeting uh, telegraphed to Simon what he would become, that Simon, who sometimes uh, was more like sifting sand Simon, would in the course of uh, being a disciple of Jesus Christ become a true rock, stable, rock-like individual. There is a lifting power in Jesus Christ to draw forth the potential that we were created to have. And uh, he brought that forth in Simon, and he brings it forth in us. The Baptist minister, Carlisle Marney, who some years ago uh, preached a sermon called uh, uh, Listening to the Voices from the Balcony. And he said, all of us in life have voices in the balcony and voices in the cellar. The voices in the cellar are the Freudian-like influences that play upon us that uh, appeal to the darker side of our soul. The voices that uh, come sometimes inner voices, sometimes voices of people whom we have been in close relationship, who drag us down, who, who pull us down, who say, you're no good. I have a person who's very dear to me who, in her growing up years, was continually told by her father, you're so ugly, no one will ever marry you. This girl, although she was a very pretty girl, was convinced that she was ugly because the voice from the cellar had told her for so many times that she was not beautiful. Sometimes we do that to our children. We say, uh, you're so stupid, or you're clumsy, or you never do anything right. The voices from the balcony are the voices that encourage us, the voices that give us hope, the voices that lift us up. These are the friends in life who say to us, you can make it, you can handle this, you have potential. I am grateful to the many people in my life who have stood alongside me at various times in my life and encouraged me. I think especially of a college professor who lives in this town who had a, a words to say to me of encouragement when I was a young person. Uh, he had a belief in me that I myself did not have for myself. I look at that when I come to the, uh, to the understanding of who God is and what Jesus Christ has available to us. The call to follow Jesus Christ is an upward call. It is a lifting call. Is a, it is a call that elevates us. As we follow Jesus Christ, we become better people. It's not that Christians are perfect people. God knows that we're not perfect. But it's that Jesus Christ brings out the potential in our life. There's potential in your life. Jesus wants to bring changes in your life for the good if you'll allow him to be the Lord and master of your life. He'll draw forth the potential also that is in you.